You ever have a time when your nervous system was just overworked? Maybe you had trouble even sleeping. Maybe it's happening now. Well, I went through that, and it's funny, I called my daughter, and she had the same thing going on. So she talked me into going to a yoga retreat. Now, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that usually does that sort of thing, but I have to say, I learned a lot. Well, let's look at this nervous system. Here's the brain. Atlas being the first vertebra of the cervical spine. Cervical meaning neck. Ganglia, in this case, is just a cluster of nerves. Whereas plexus is a huge network that distributes impulses throughout the body. So cervical plexus coming between C1 and C5. If you're not sure what C means, cervical, here's my key, a legend. So what's happening is impulses are exiting the spinal cord and moving into the neck region. Brachial means arm, so here's the huge brachial plexus. Exiting the shoulder, going down the arm, and into the fingertips. Chain ganglia, these are just those clusters of nerves. For the sympathetic nervous system, so this is a flight or fight, such as when, when you're stressed out, that's what the sympathetic is all about here. Okay, intercostal means between the ribs. Let's continue down. So we're in the mid-body region, heading towards the hips. There's the intercostals. Moving down to a very important region called conus medullaris. I like that name because it is kind of cone-shaped. It's pointing downwards. And that is the terminal end of the solid spinal cord. So if we're going to do a spinal tap, we want to go, go below the conus into the cauda equina, which means horse's tail. You can see these nerves flaring out, and that's where you can collect spinal fluids more, uh, safely, somewhat safely. Lumbar means lower back, so here's the lumbar plexus exiting the spinal cord. Sacral, think of sacrum, below the lumbar vertebra. Phylum terminal is just that center large track, neural track. L5 being lumbar, sacral 1. Here's a huge set of nerves coming down called the femoral nerve. And the femoral is going to continue into the anterior leg muscles, so the huge quadriceps, tibialis, and down into the toes. Below the femoral is a, a series of plexes called the sciatic nerve massive nerve that gives a lot of people trouble, such as during pregnancy or if they've injured themselves and there's an impingement. They're going to feel sometimes tingling or pain in their hamstring or posterior leg muscles, such as semitendinosis, gastrocnemius, and even the bottom of the foot or the plantar region. Now, we can control our nervous system to some, some extent through what's called progressive relaxation. What we do is we we say it to ourselves, we visualize it in our heads, and we flex a region of the muscle, say the shoulder, arm, and you make a fist. And you hold that fist and you flex that arm and you tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. And then you let out a breath and you visualize that arm and hand becoming relaxed. And then you switch to the other side, that arm, and the chest, and the lower back, and the hip. You do each one of these regions separately. Lift the feet off just a few inches and you flex, flex, flex. And at the end of this, it sometimes takes four or five minutes. The breathing slows down, the heart rate, and even the brain waves change. And, and we can control our, our nervous system somewhat without medication, which people want to sometimes, they want pills for everything. All right, before I tell my students to do a lab report, I make sure I can do it myself. And it's doable, but it takes time. So here's that atlas, the first bone of the cervical spine. C1 to C5 is the cervical plexus. Shoulder is the brachial. Ganglia are these clumps of neurons. Here's our sympathetic for flight or fight. Intercostal means between the ribs. Moving down to T12, so we're at the end of the thoracic vertebra into the lumbar. And here's the conus medullaris. I made it nice and pointy. Cauda equina, horse's tail. Phylum terminal in the middle. 
and then the huge femoral nerve coming off in a superior position going down into the uh, even into the skin um, the legs the feet of the front so the quadriceps tibialis below that in an inferior position is the huge sciatic nerve which I mentioned gets injured and it's going to move into the plantar all the way to the bottom of the foot now here's my progressive relaxation data use my voice I visualized it I flexed my muscles and then I relaxed them and I know okay I only took afterwards you know one less breath but my impression was that my breaths were long and slow and you know with our patients even though we have their data we ask their impression and then we even record our general impression of the patient so sometimes impressions are important I like a happy ending my daughter talked me into going back a second time a second year to the yoga retreat <laughs>